Good afternoon, my cellmates. So you're joining me in my art lab today. And I've started speaking and now my dog started pressing on the gate because he wants to come in to join in the fun. Um, yeah, I'm in my experiment mode again today and I have been sent some of these boom gel, boom gel paints. They're called, they're Australian made. Um, I believe from uh, a lady and her husband in Western Australia. I have to find out the full details. Um, they've sent me these to try and I have had a few experiments with them trying to create this, the bloom technique, but the, you know, simple way of creating it. So good. they have got, oh, so many colors. All of these colors and all of their products for the boom gel uh, are on the online um, online website that I usually refer you to. Um, so you can go there and apparently they all the colors are fully loaded onto their site. Um, so if you want to try. But what it is, is basically all of the paints are all pre-made paints. Um, and they're pre-made to create the bloom effect. Um, I've been playing with them the last couple of weeks because I wanted to, I got that kind of effect out of them. Um, these were just a few that I've been playing with. I got that effect out of them. So I've played with them a little bit and they're definitely giving you the bloom effect but without all the hassles. So I sort of was trying to look at something, you know, um, without the people that just want to get in and paint and, and not buy all the different products. Because apparently, you know, this is what it does. I've used all this paint in a way. I'm not even sure if I'm using it fully correctly because I haven't, uh, I haven't, I sort of just, I just love to find out things for myself. I do like guides somebody can tell me but ultimately I've just had a little go with them myself um, but I just wanted to yeah bring them to you show them to you tell me what you think because this is just an easier way like a foolproof way of getting you kind of a bloom technique that seems to be all the rage at the moment so of course I'm just doing my bit and helping with kind of um, the easy way out, the easy, cheaper way out of trying to get the bloom technique. So I'm just gonna get into it. Like I said, all of these colors are loaded onto the um, Facebook uh, online, I'll tell you what, it's in the drop down box there and I've got a link directly to the online store where all the colors are loaded. You can have a look at all the fantastic colors and you can judge for yourself when I finish this what you think. What I'm using as my base paint is just some black um, house paint that I have left over here because I understand that you, well, you can, they recommend you just use their own paint as your base. But I'm going to try both. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try both. I'm going to see which one works the best, a house paint or having their, the boom gel underneath. So, it apparently needs nothing added, nothing taken away, um, and you just add a bit of this boom gel stain cellac enhancer. Um, well, I'm gonna just add it in my coat that I put on top to create the bloom. So we'll see how we go. I've bought some of these, uh, just the uh, just coasters, cup coasters made out of MDF. They're already pre-painted on one side. Now I got six from Kmart. I think they were three dollars. So I thought perfect to try this bloom technique and then if they turn out brilliant then I can um, use, a, I could put a nice clear gloss coating or a waterproof coating to have them as my own 
um, little coasters or gifts, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I will get into this and get started because I'm eager to uh, put it out there and, and I really would like to know what you guys think and if you would like to try it and if you want to check out the site on Creole Shabby Chic, it's the uh, online store, like I said, I've got the link, it'll be in the drop down box. If you're on the TV watching your YouTube, then it, you need to go to a laptop or um, your Android phone or something to get my links to uh, online stores to buy this stuff. So, 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 what I have uh, sort of got from my own experience, just very minimal experience from it, it really needs a good shake. It's really, really highly pigmented and even though these bottles don't seem very big, you use very, very little of it because uh, the mostly is your, ba your coat underneath, your base coat. So that's what I thought, if I'm using my just white or black house paint, then I'm not going to waste it, you know, these pre-made up paints, but I'm not sure if it'll work exactly how it should have, so I will set aside one, tell you what, I'll do one with their paint on the bottom and I'll do one with the house paint on the bottom. So then it gives you um, an idea of what to go for. So I know they really need a good shake up. Now the creator, Cass, she tells me that you can just use directly from the bottle. I think for one of those ones I did, I did put it in cups the night before um, and stirred it up a bit because I found them a little bit thick. But so if that's the case, then I think she just suggested you just add a bit of water to them. I'm not sure if adding a bit of Floetrol to them would do the trick. Um, now this is a blow technique which sends me a bit like lightheaded. So I'm either gonna just use the straw or I'm gonna use my um, little blow tool. I suppose I can try both. So my, uh, my little compressor that I got off eBay, haven't yet been able to find them. Lots of people have been asking me. So I've gotta go through the history of my buying on eBay to, to get the link because I can't actually find it when I it comes up so maybe they're not selling them anymore but my son reckons you can oh you can get those anywhere mum so who knows I'm gonna try this just the black house paint it's sort of like a low sheen house paint so I'm gonna try it so I'm gonna put a nice dollop on the bottom I haven't done anything with this I mean I haven't um, added anything I've just given it a real good stir so I haven't added anything or taken away. Now I'll try their paints, the Boom Gel, on the bottom. So we'll see which one actually works out the best. But before I start, I want to add some of the Boom Gel white to a cup. Whoops, that's probably hit way too much. And I'm gonna add a few drops of their Cell Enhancer, what they recommend to, is supposed to be for the production of the cells. Why is that? Oh, what am I doing? No, that's not working. Okay, I'm gonna just add, oh, I think she said only one, but I've added three. <laughs> so I might have um, stuffed it up. So it seems a little bit thick to me, but We'll go with it because it's supposed to work directly from the bottle. Um, so there you go. I'll leave that aside. So I'm going to load some colours on here. And I'm going to go this. Actually, I haven't got the colour on the bottle. So it just oh, came like that. So I'm not really 100% sure. This one has. This one's uh, Banksia Orange. There you go. It helps if you open the lid, Jill. I'm gonna add this delicious looking Mulga Parrot Green. Okay. 
Ooh, I might start loading this one up. Yeah, I think oh, that's better. I should open that. That would be. Now this colour, oh, is a native violet purple, but it's so dark and deep and luscious that it looks like black, but not when it's blown out on the work. Ooh, what colour, what colour. Okay, we might go this. See, I'm sorry, this little bottles didn't come with any labels to me, but I'm sure that they will be able to tell you on the site uh, what they are because obviously they're sent to me in samples uh, for me to try and I'm gonna that dark color I might put a little blob of the uh, dark sort of rust it's like a rust color and then I'm really gonna set the cat amongst the pigeons and put in some of this cassowary blue probably need probably going overboard here I don't know uh, I probably need a light light color in there so I'm gonna go for this beautiful like uh, sheeny rose color it's really lovely okay okay let's do it what I'm gonna do is where's my little duva keep them apart so I don't the idea is is the uh, the last bit of the puzzle is that well I've just used white with that cell enhancer and this is apparently will create the bloom so we'll see or you guys will see really interested to know what you think because there's no mixing there's no getting it right or wrong and it obviously does make a bloom effect because I've done it but it's whether you guys think that right what i might try first is my straw see how i go now for pass out can somebody contact my husband please okay there's the bloomy effect interesting We got too much paint on there for a little fella. Try this one now. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know if it's the black that's not looking the best or it's because I've used their base coat um, for the underneath but that's a pretty nice little bloom for very little or no effort whatsoever so the idea is that you are to stretch it out which is obviously slow process because this paint's taken a while to move I will have to has ask the manufacturer of it if you can actually add flow troll I did suggest just water to if you find in it's thin too thin a uh, too thick and you want to thin it I'm getting mixed up with me thinnies and thickies um, so yeah it's very pretty and I suppose I could have blown that a little bit further than I did but it's very slow to move so that, ooh, but it is looking pretty spiffy. Look at that. So it's like, you know, I read these books when it says internet for dummies and YouTube for dummies. Well, this should be my, <laughs> the bloom technique for dummies, because you don't have to think about it. So, 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 so basically just very slowly stretching it if I was doing this on obviously on a bigger canvas I would definitely water down that undercoat the base coat so it moved better because it's pretty slow but then it's it's so thick 
so that's the obviously if I tilt it back this way I'll get that nice bloom I just I'll work on this black one see what I can do with this so this was the house paint I think the reason this doesn't look as pleasant is the colors I've chosen to go with the black well this one does move easier because the house paint obviously is a lot more runny than the the boom gel but I just thought it would could look pretty cool with black okay let's run it over here I haven't put any on us uh, don't need any heat obviously because I haven't added any heat don't know if they advise heat I don't think so because it's you don't add anything to the paint except that little cell accelerator so look at that sheeny shiny Ooh. oh now I've splitched splodged got black fingers so I will leave the um, determination to you guys what you think I just Very interested to know what you guys think of it. Um, actually, that's that's that is really coming lovely now. I think it's just the colours that I chose with the black, um, but that's very pretty. Look at those. So I've got four more to play with, and I will play with them and see how I further I can push these to so obviously you just doing it a very simple technique that I did and just pouring it directly from the bottle absolutely no stress to me and just made this little bit up with the white and the boom booster cell stain enhancer um, and like I said there in the drop down box below the colors if you want to give them a go but honest because you only use that tiny little pool it'll go a really long way um, like I did this bigger one I mean what I did though is I just used for this one it doesn't look as vibrant at the moment because I used a cream house paint that I got left it was like a yellowy cream house paint underneath and then I used their paints on top so that didn't um, that's dried all yellowy which if it was white it would obviously stand out so much more but look at that using their white and I will try it with my um, uh, my little uh, blow, to blow thing uh, whatever you call them I will give you a oh that's it quite nice aren't they very simple don't have to think about adding this that or the other and it seems that everybody wants to do it at the moment and I really thought what is the easy no no frills way of achieving it and then I was sent these by Cass of Cass Creations um, and I believe it's their own um, they're making the paint and they're putting it out if it's available, uh, I'm presuming that they're gonna they're going to get a a US supplier, so um, it'll be available in the US too. But it's definitely available here in Australia, and I think New Zealand. And I will just double check, or you can double check if you go onto that website that I have the link to underneath. But thank you for joining me again. Um, so absolutely overwhelmed with all the um, subscribers to my channel and the amount of people watching my art lab experiments so until next time cellmates uh, thank you for joining me and bye